Yo, it's people. So we're here back again on Brick Lane for Zaman Brothers. We're gonna pick up some ingredients from here. We need chickpeas, air, coriander, uh, a few mixes. I don't wanna ruin it for you. You'll see when we get back to the kitchen. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Bala Sunni. Ja, alhamdulillah. It always greets us with an amazing smile, <laughs> mashallah. Uh, we're just going to pick up some of the bits and pieces here. Have you got your list? I've got my list, yeah. So yeah. let's do, give me get a basket. So, do you know your spices, Maruf? Yeah, so. What's this, Maruf? This is the surprise. We're going to be doing a Bangladeshi style chop potty today. This is an amazing, fantastic vegetarian dish. Uh, it's really simple. Um, I learned this. I don't want to tell you who I learned it from. I'll tell you later on. <laughs> Guys, I nearly forgot the main ingredients. Chickpeas. chickpeas. We're going to go for canned chickpeas. It's quite easy, simple, straightforward. We can use the dry chickpeas. However, it might take all night to soak up. So this is quite simple. It's gonna get two cans of chickpeas. Yep. That's more than enough. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Right, welcome everybody to another episode of We Inspired. I'm getting a special treat today because Maruf is the chef today. He's gonna do a phenomenal recipe uh, taught by yours truly, right? So basically, this is a recipe we do at home. It's a traditional Bangladeshi vegetarian dish. It's made from chickpeas. Um, it's called chuck. Ch Whose recipe is it, man? <laughs> Whose recipe? I'm gonna recreate it. Yep. So when I say recreate, I'm gonna try and redo it. Latif's had it at home at my place uh, prior to the lockdown. So he's, he's done a big revision last night. He's studied the recipe. He's gonna do a fantastic recipe for us. This is one of the most famous street food in Bangladesh. Um, you get it in most of the time, it's in the evenings by street vendors, uh, boiling away big pots of chickpea and whack it in a pot with tamarind, sweet and spicy sort of flavor, very sour as well. So hopefully it's gonna be a fantastic sort of snack for you guys to follow. Chef. So this is what we've got. This is a basic, straightforward, but amazing dish. Chickpeas, two kinds of chickpeas. The reason why we're using tin chickpeas it's much easier the process. It tastes fantastic. You can do it with raw chickpeas. However, it's gonna take forever to sort of have them soften overnight. Yeah, because so, you got you gotta boil it and leave sorry, you gotta put it in water and leave it overnight, don't you? That's it. And then so you know if when you wanna do something like this, you do it sort of there and then you don't wait around for a whole day. You've got this coriander, chapati masala. If you can't get this, you can use chana masala as an alternative. Three eggs, three small potatoes, cucumber, we've got some tomatoes, we've got green chilies, um, we've got tamarind, but what we've had to do with the tamarind, we've put hot water just to soften it up, and we're gonna use... Oh, I got Zifra funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get rid of all this yucky bits and just use the water um, so you get that sour flavor. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna use some red onions. Where's the red onions gone? Oh, oh, it's coming. It's coming, yeah. <laughs> What's this boiling away? You got the eggs boiling away here. Yo, wonderful. I think the eggs are hard boiled, Maruf. I think it's ready. I'm hungry. We're going to chop these skin, take the skin off these potatoes, chop them up and boil these as well. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to boil it with the skin on, bro, and then take it off. It's more nicer. Please follow my tip. Okay. Yeah. The chef, the chef is always right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to boil it with the skin on. Yep, yep. Then they're going to take the skin off. Um, and then that's it really, job yep. done. It's going to take about five minutes from there. Let's crack on, chef. Crack on. Move. I've always found it quite difficult. And when the eggs just boiled, it's quite hot. And it's always hard to take the skin off. I always tend to do this. I recently found that you can do this. You get any cup, anything to cover it. And just start going crazy. And watch this. Oh, shit, I've done that wrong. <laughs> It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It wasn't. It wasn't hard boiled. Oh no! That means this hasn't been boiled. We have to. Okay, we have to reboil it. <laughs> right, guys. So waiting for the potatoes to get done. Uh, we've messed up on the egg. So this fella's lonely here. So we have to. 
sort of put another egg to boil. Just waiting for these fellas. Right, Chef Maruf has told me to make this as small as possible. So I'm dicing it very, very thinly. So look. So this is it. Yep. Basically, all I'm going to do is this. It's because I just want another plate of it as well. So I'm going to put that. That is super sour. So it depends on how sour you want it. If you want it more sour, you add more tamarind. I'm going to put, add more water. Bro, why it. don't you squash uh, the yeah, thing and get, yeah. out, get everything so, out? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more water onto this okay, okay. to get a bit more. So I'm going to put this back here okay, okay. and put more water on it. I added hot water originally. It's only because I wanted it. It was really hard. Okay. So I wanted it to soften down. But I'm going to add another cup of water like this. Don't you want to put hot water? No, so because it's already soft. Okay, okay. So I'm going to add this here. And then this is going to go in back to here. And then that's going to go in with the chickpeas. Okay. With a sort of a low boil. Okay, you know, okay. Because the chickpeas is already cooked. It's just to warm up the chickpeas. So while everything's getting boiled, look at this. Latif has diced this up super fine. Latif, man, you super duper fly. Super fly, super duper fly. What are you doing on the side? What I'm doing on the side, the side piece is we're making some lovely spicy fried chicken. Let me show you this. A marinated um, chicken uh, with spices, just a bit of corn flour, gonna give this a mix. So this is gonna be um, starters for us is going to be this chuck potty and we're going to have this as a side dish spicy fried chicken wings now if you want to see some recipes go to Latif's inspired on that fried chicken recipe it's similar to this but um, I'm trialing this recipe for, for for the program if it's nice hopefully it is nice uh, we're gonna put it on the show uh, what are you doing I'm just basically draining the chickpeas yep get all that I'm gonna wash this it's got that little bit of skins and stuff. Yeah, we need so to get rid of. We need to wash this out properly. So I'll let you do that. So wash it, drain it, take the excess skin off, yeah? Yeah. And then you're going to put it into the pan, yeah? That's right, yes. Here Beautiful. we are. If that was me, I would have skinned the potato, chopped it up, put it in. I didn't know. That's why Latif's here. He said to me, it's better to leave the skin on. Why, Latif? It gives it more flavour. Yeah, it keeps the flavours in. Otherwise, if you chop it up and put it in the water, yes, it gets uh, done quicker. But the, the skin just keeps that flavour. Whereas uh, the potato, if you chop it up and put it, it, it has a watery flavour. Huh. That we do not want. That's good to know. You get me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fried chicken. Well, the chicken is coming out looking nice. Yep. It'll hopefully be beautiful. So, yo, Maruf. So you've drained the chickpeas, right? Yeah, I've drained the chickpeas. Um, I'll put slow really gas. Really slow gas. And what I'm going to do is a small bowl, but we're going to keep using the tamarind water. Look, so I'm going to fill that up. Yep. You can see it's nearly covered. Yep. The, uh, keep using the tamarind water. Yep. I'm going to add more water to this. Yep. While that's boiling away. You know, because so, some of the water will be evaporating. So what you do is reduce the gas a bit, add some more water, use the same tamarind water again. Here we are. So now I'm going to break some potato up. Put it in here. Although we've, we've uh, sort of boiled three potatoes, um, just bear in mind, you don't want to sort of, sometimes you get different sizes, so you don't want to put too much because it'll take that flavor away. Give that a bit of a mix. If you need more potatoes, you can add it at any time. So now we're going to add the chutpati mix. It's it's a Raduni brand, however you can always, uh, if you can't find this, you can get the chat masala. Chat masala works uh, as well. The chana chat as well. 
But this is the original Bangladeshi Raduni. Raduni is a Bangladeshi brand, bro. Here we go. So now we're going to add two teaspoons of this. Yep. But you can always add a little bit more after tasting it. Give it a mix. So we're going to put some turmeric in here. So about half a teaspoon, yeah? You want it to be spicy? A little bit spicy, yeah. So we're adding about half a teaspoon. This is a bigger teaspoon, by the way, that's why this is a, this is a half. You can always add more. Uh, Spices. Did you want to put salt in? Did you say? Yeah, we'll put half a spoon of salt, teaspoon of salt as well. So we're putting a bit of salt as well. Um, the chak putti masala has it's got that black salt, so it's quite salty, so we don't want to add too much salt. Give it a nice little mix. Look at that colour coming in. Okay, I'm adding a little bit more water here. Because I'm going to put egg in it. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna get slightly more drier so it's better to put a bit more tamarind water in here. Okay, so it's yeah, it's been about 12 to 15 minutes. Um it's ready now to put all the other ingredients in. So that's two boiled eggs there, yeah? Yeah, two boiled eggs. Looks wonderful. This is gonna be like a thickener as well. That's right. So now oh that what looks I'm gonna appetizing, do, mate. Give it a good mix. It becomes much thicker. Yeah. You can just have this with like a, a puri or some naan bread or you something. You can have this on its own. Yeah, with puri, naan bread, paratha. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some, a little bit of onions. Obviously, we're going to use most of it at the end, but. So, oh, look at this. Who cut that? That looks beautiful. Oh, look at Paka, that. Mate. Cucumber, one sec, can we roof? Tomatoes, oh, looks gorgeous. Lovely ingredients. Green chilies. Here we are. Here we go. There you I'm go. Add some onions. So this is for the sauce and then you're gonna add it for garnish as well, yeah? yeah? Oh, look oh, at those cucumbers. Colors. Sorry, we don't need to add the cucumber. Tomatoes. Tomatoes? Where you come from, America <laughs> or something? Tomatoes, mate, tomatoes. Coriander. Yeah. Donya, yeah? <laughs> Donya, papa. <laughs> lovely, lovely. We use another one back home yeah. in Bangladesh. It's called, how do you pronounce it? Bandola, papa. It's similar. It's, it's like, it's, it's similar to, to coriander. It's an alternative. I don't know what it's but called. But it's very fragrant, yeah? Very fragrant. What's it called? Bandola? It's, it's called stinging nettles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the one you mean. Look. There you go. Let we're gonna add all the chilies. The reason why is we're not gonna use the chili um, as a garnish. As a garnish. So that, um, um, I've chopped up about three. So this is gonna be hot. So yep. it depends on on how you guys like it. You don't have to add any chilies whatsoever. Hatada better. Look at that. Yes. Oh. Oh, I'm salivating. Now I'm gonna mix this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. This is amazing, mate. This just reminds me of Bangladesh. Remember that vlog I did on We Inspired when um, that pan vlog, Roof? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Yes. And that guy made that chutpati. I think this is going to taste oh, even better. Look at that, yeah. <laughs> you know, like they say in Bengali, fatafati. <laughs> okay, so this now. is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait. In fact, can you put a link on the description box, please, of that, uh, the pan vlog and they can see how it's done in Bangladesh, oh, yeah? Definitely. Beautiful. Right, we've added another three teaspoons of the chaspati masala. So in total, we've added five. We've added it at this point because this gives it a nice flavor, that raw, because it's got that mango powder, black uh, salt, um, pepper. It's really nice. Let's give it a little taste so it's tangy enough. Bismillah. Yeah, no re-dipping, no re-dipping of the spoon, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it is, I think it's nice, lovely. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it needs another, uh, need to take it to another dimension. So I've got a wedge of lemon. 
Gives it that citric flavour. Ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. Mr. Marufia has, uh, is, I'm going to be the official uh, taster. So <laughs> whack this in. I just want to say, look at the water is, absor is absorbed by those chickpeas. There you go. Look at that, looks wonderful. And now I'm going to add raw red onions, cucumber, tomatoes, and coriander. And I'm going to add. I'm salivating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tamarind. We just boiled uh, more of that tamarind again, what we showed you, that pulp. So this is going to give that, that umami, that lift, that sourness that makes you squeal. Oh, look at that. Yes, baby. This is wonderful. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of this um, chop potty, sprinkle it on. Wonderful, boiled egg. This is that, that sev, it's like a Bombay mix. Traditional, there you go. Wonderful. Right ladies and gentlemen, we actually bought these, but we thought for this one, we're not going to use it because we've got that Sev Bombay mix thing. But you can get this, just crunch it up and just put it on top. It wasn't necessary for this, but I showed you that you can do it. Now let's give this a taste. Oh, mouth is watering. It, I'm absolutely salivating. <laughs> oh yeah. Listen to that. Yeah, smells that fragrant sort of um, aromatic, those spices and stuff like that, that chat masala with the mango. Mmm. Yeah. Maru, I think you outdone yourself. This is wonderful, mate. Mmm. Sour. Not too hot, but definitely spicy. <clears throat> All those textures with the tomatoes, with the onions, got a nice little crunch. That Bombay mix, the sev, that Pani Puri thing, wonderful, nice and crispy. This is, it's a bloody gorgeous mate, absolutely beautiful. Really enjoyed that, thank you Maru. This is how I like doing things, reminds me of back home. Crack the egg, break it open a bit. This is like that Golgopi Pani Puri thing, yeah? Yeah, this is, this is street food, street vendors. They have loads of these. Break it. Get a little bit of this. Put it inside this. Look at that. Bro, you need to put a bit of tamarind juice in there. Whack it in, bro, like a Pani Puri style. You need to eat this really quick because you've got tamarind in it, which will then break through. A bit of tomatoes. Coriander, bit of this. So this all this all this all this all this all this. Bit of this. And look at that. A masterpiece. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That is really lovely. Yeah. You know what? I must say. That's fantastic. You need to try one like this. <laughs> I think I think you can be a street street vendor, mate. Definitely. doing this oh wow i'm gonna try one out fantastic mate yep there you go now we're gonna make some fried chicken to go with this yeah wonderful look at that absolutely beautiful mate there you go marie's gonna make me one Let, let's give it a try there you go barney forty <coughs> Yep. Look at that. 
Look at this, mate. Ah. Oh. That's <laughs> God. <laughs> How was that? Mate, that's lovely. That is top notch. You have to have this. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> this is really nice. I've actually enjoyed this vlog, me and Maruf, we had a bit of fun, a bit of banter, and um, this ingredient is very good. <clears throat> what we're going to do, we're going to put the uh, ingredients in the description box for you, to, for you guys to enjoy at home. Now, if you've enjoyed this, hopefully like and share to all your friends and family and put in some comments if you'd like to see more. Obviously we can't go away anywhere because of the lockdown, God help us all. Uh, if we're all in he healthy and well and through this, hopefully we'll be going to a few destinations and checking out some food, travel, etc. But all in all, I hope you've enjoyed it and see you soon for more fantastic vlogs at We Inspired. See you soon. Atif's been busy making these fantastic chicken wings. Look at these. Well, they're chicken niblets, aren't they, Atif? Huh? Yeah, so just breaded them like here. There you go. And now we're just washing the fry. Look at this. These are going to be succulent. Look at this. Nice and tender. You see the cracked black peppers? This is going to be lovely, mate. Nice, crunchy, crispy, absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> that skin, bubble, bubbles on the skin. Now, you like a little, uh, lovely little piece of juicy fat. <laughs> little meat, yeah? <laughs> there we go. These are going to be wonderful.